So here is the Jeep Pewter, pretty much completed now. Um, I gotta do a couple little programming things, but the actual all the hardware is pretty much done. I also gotta finish putting a couple pieces on the Jeep itself. <coughs> I still have to remove the steering wheel lock. Um, I'm doing that tomorrow. That'll allow me so I can actually drive the Jeep without the key. I kind of forgot about that. I can start it and everything, but uh, can't turn the wheel without the key in. So I'll be removing that tomorrow. Um, <coughs> so the Jeep uh, Peter is up here in the Tuffy lock. Um, and also here's another Arduino down here. I have two. If you can see, it's running this keypad. There's pictures of it in the blog. Um, so you type that code in. Type the code into here, and it's like turning the Jeep on to the on position with the key, which will then turn the Jeep on. Then you can actually start the Jeep with the Arduino-powered Jeep computer up here in the Tuffy lock. So let me uh, <coughs> kind of show you how this works. You can see here, type the code in. Turns green. As you can see, all the gauges came on. Everything's coming on here, along with the Jeep computer. Um, the timing is actually not working, as you can tell right now. Um, it will be. I have the time module, but I'm actually waiting for a shift register to free up some pins before I can make it work completely. Uh, but the temperature is working, along with the light sensor is working well. The temp sensor is just down here. It's actually in that hole. It's hard to tell, hard to see it. And then the uh, light sensor, I'll show you really quick here, is in the front. It's hard to see it, but it's right there. The, uh, the light sensor in the front of this will detect ambient light and uh, adjust and turn on things accordingly. Um, there's a page in here that you can actually uh, set how sensitive it is and I will show you that here in a minute. But right now I'm going to go through uh, each uh, set, you know, every page here. Um, these red buttons are your next and previous. And also these are your select buttons as you can see these lines that go across uh, to what you want to select. And when the Jeep turns on it starts here on the time and temperature. So you click next and it's going to take you to the garage lights and door along with uh, engine start. I'll show you this page and how it works later just a bit because when you turn the Jeep on it's kind of loud in here. I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm going to do that at the end of the video. Um, so your first page of you know components here you got uh, receiver radio, GPS, scanner, and inverter. Um, I have it set so the GPS always turns on whenever the Jeep turns on. I kind of like that. As you can see, the GPS is right here. It's on. That's kind of pre-programmed to always come on when the Jeep comes on. So you can turn it off, though, if you'd like. And it shows off, and if you listen, you can probably even hear the uh, relay clicking on and off. And then it'll now turn back on. Um, CB radio is going to be actually, I'll show you this here, turn it on. It's going to be under here, in this toughy mount. You can't see it here, but quite cool. I have actually the CB turning on. If you lift this up, there's the CB radio. It's kind of cool. It keeps it hidden and locked up, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, back to this, i got a scanner. I like to listen to air traffic control also uh, for work. I sometimes like to listen to uh, EMS and uh, police frequencies. You can turn that on and off, which is actually right here. So, and these, actually, this toughy mount's real nice because I can actually make it hidden if I don't want to see it. It's kind of hard to come down, but there it goes. And I'm not going to leave all these on just because my Jeep isn't on right now, so the power kind of gets sucked up if you're using all this stuff. And then inverter, you can hear it just click on, and that is actually down here. It's hard to see. See, so had a power plug down there, so we can turn the light on here for a second. Yeah, there's a power plug down there in the green LED indicates the inverter is on. Okay, so turn that off real quick. And see inverter turning off. The next page, we got side lighting, interior lighting, fog lights, and LEDs. Um, side light. Alright, now let me show you the lights and everything working. Um, so you can click here on your interior lights, you turn these on and off. You can see it turns the interior lights on and off. Um, these are also interior lights are also automatic with the door. 
fog lights you'll be able to see outside the fog lights coming on and off but this um, LED interior lights will come on off side lighting as you can see here you've got side lights when you're on you know going down trails and stuff you can see what's going on um, LED lights now, this is going to give you two options three options you have off on or auto now auto you can see it's hard to see these red lights down here turn them on auto is what's reading when it reads the light sensor so you have the option to tell it if you want it to be automatic or turn on and off if you want it. along with the dash lights you can see they're turning on and off that's also auto on or off low beam as you can see I'm not going to leave these on just because the Jeep isn't on. And then daylight, you know, your day running lights can be either auto or off or on. Now, in this page that I wanted to show you guys, you got a couple things. You can do lights. This is actually going to turn my garage lights on and off, as you can see. That's just set up on a simple RF uh, switch. Um, and this will do my garage door. It's honestly just wired to a garage door opener. So if I hit that, you see the garage door is going up. All right, I stopped it and put it back down. Now, after you type the code in on the on the uh, other Arduino, you can come here and this is how you're to start the Jeep. You'll type the code in. Immediately push this. Now the Jeep is running. You can see everything's working here. Um, I'm not going to leave this on very long just because of carbon monoxide. So, go ahead and turn this off. Now, to turn it off would be like to switch the key off. Um, so, you'd have to come down to the keypad. And you can see the green LED indicates it's on. But if you push this right here, it turns it off. It goes to red. Um, that's actually shutting everything off, though, even the Arduino. Um, everything will turn off when you do that. Um, so one thing I'm adding, haven't done it yet, is like a power override switch. Um, when you push it on the Arduino, it kind of bypasses um, the switched power and makes it a constant. So when you turn the Jeep off, if you're fueling up, anything like that, um, your GPS stays on, your radio stays on, so you don't have to reset that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the Jeep Uter completed. Glad you guys liked it. Again, type the code in. Turns on. Green LED comes on. And everything comes on. The lights come on automatically just because they're set to automatic normally when they kick on. So, yeah, that is it. And again, like I said, click here. Cheap is on. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so here's a diagno diagnostics uh, section. Um, you can't access it by just hit, hitting the next pages, but if you hit enter, it'll take you to it. If you look at my code, it kind of it jumps to a different set of pages uh, when you open it up. So now that you're in diagnostics, you can switch here. Um, the first page is the ambient light uh, setting page. Right now it's showing a 53 um, value. And what I did is I actually took it, and it, you know, obviously the light temperature, sorry, the light sensor takes light and outputs a voltage between 0 and 5 volts depending on how much light it is. Um, so it, return, you know, it sends a value of like 1024 I think is what it sends it to to the Arduino. Um, but I took that and the code and divided it by like I think 10 just to bring it down, the numbers down a little bit because I, uh, I save these numbers into the EEPROM of the Arduino. So if you change it here, you know, set your ambient light temperature this is the reading here, you can turn it on or off, but I'm actually setting it here to higher and lower settings. And when you power down the Jeep and power it back up, it will remember these settings. And every time you push the button, it's, it automatically saves it into the, into the Arduino EEPROM. So that's ambient light. Next is going to be the shift registers. You've seen this in another video. Um, it shows you what registers are on and what they're doing at the moment. Um, there's also a good way to test them. I can't test it right now just because everything's plugged in. It would kind of cause everything to turn off and on. don't want to get into that, but it is in the other video. Um, so your next page 
is going to be the date settings. Um, right now I'm going to have it the daylight savings on and off. Um, it'll just be easier than trying to reprogram the real-time clock. So you can just, every time you turn that off or on, depending on what it is, it'll subtract an hour or go back to the normal time. Daylight savings. I think daylight savings is a joke anyway. Um, these are just sensors. This is the actual reading of what the ambient light is. It's 267, 268, I think it's blinking between. Um, that's without it being divided by 10, so you can actually see what it's coming in. And the temp is what's actually coming in voltage-wise uh, to the temperature gauge and not being calculated in the Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, and this is the relay fan, which I will show you in my relay box. I added a fan to kind of help keep it cool uh, so you can turn that on and off. And there you go, you can exit and go back into your uh, 